Hi everyone, a very good afternoon to all of you. I'm Suman Agarwal, co-founder and director of Image Consulting Business Institute. And my guest for today is not just one person. We have two guests today. And we are privileged to host these two guests because they are not only friends, but they are also business partners. So we have today Sonal Garvi and Bhubaneshwari Savant. And let us see if these two have already joined in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. How do we so, turn the camera? Yes, we just, we just put it a little behind also. So it covers both of us. Are, are we covered, both of us? Are you still tilted? Yes, you are tilted. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you can turn here. Yeah. Is this better? Much better, much better. Thankfully, yes. you straightened yourself. So when we go with the horizontal layer, we try something. The only thing is that we were getting split in one screen. So we're going to come All right. We come <laughs> even closer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you'll have to put your heads together. Which we do all the time. <laughs> Amazing. It's such a pleasure to connect with you, Suman. And uh, absolutely, we... Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much. It's yes. a pleasure and it's an honor. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> in live with you on We have so. both of you here because we've never had two people joining in on Spotlight with Suman, and this is the first yeah, so time. Yes, this is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are so glad. We are so glad. Yeah. We feel absolutely blessed and we're ex extremely excited and we're feeling so honored, first of all, that this five years, six years is when we, we realize it's actually like a blink of an eye for us. Yes. But yet it's, no, it feels as if we've come a very, very long way. That's true. Absolutely. <laughs> and I have been seeing all your, uh, you know, different things that you have been doing on LinkedIn. So that's like a very, very exciting journey that you have been, you know, uh, you've come across, you've come a long way. Last that means years. a lot so, when it comes to me. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Thank, thank you, Guruji. <laughs> yes. 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 It means a lot when yeah. it comes. Yeah. So, so tell, so tell us, uh, everybody who are uh, who uh, is a part of this entire uh, conversation. So, everybody would like to know that what were you doing prior to joining ICBI? Both of you, one by one. Sure. So, yes. I'll go first. Uh, I. Uh, I'm a student of psychology and I joined the corporate jungle and I was working there for, I was uh, like for 15 to 20 years. I evolved into a human resources professional. I've had the opportunity to work with IT, IT training, ITES, matrimonial industry, BFSI, media and entertainment, food and beverages export. And uh, when I was at the peak of my career, as I was heading HR for a company, that's when I decided to take a sabbatical. And, uh, but I feel that I've, you know, in these 20 years, uh, this, this entire you know, line of experience and exposure that I got was where I could understand human behavior in work environment specifically and then generally in life. Uh, so this, this is what I was doing before I did the program. Right. And for and me, was, I, yeah, so for me, I was a mathematics graduate. Uh, ever since I was 17, I was modeling and then I got into the family business where I was actively handling uh, different verticals. So 
uh, industry wise i can uh, name uh, manufacturing real estate uh, mining also government projects and list is long so yeah. that's what i was doing prior to uh, joining icbi So yeah. tell me, I mean, both of you come from different backgrounds. I mean, you were doing something <laughs> else, and Bhuvneshwari was doing something else. How did the two ends meet, and how did you decide to, to do image consulting and soft skills training, and how did this whole thing happen? Okay, so we have yeah. a very funny story for it, <laughs> but normally I think I'll let you go with that. Okay, <laughs> so uh, to start with, for, why ICBI for me was that. Um, I I believe that I always had the flair of fashion, and I understood it, uh, you know, very well. Uh, whether it was high street fashion or luxury brands, whenever I went for shopping or even window shopping, it was all researched for me, and I could see a piece of garment or accessories on anyone and say, I knew that where that came from, what label it belonged to, or. which market it was picked from so yeah. one had that sensibility and plus i got a lot of con- compliments when people saw me and and the way i dressed and also asked for a lot of suggestions for their attire uh, along with that when i was uh, i think really young 13 14 is where i found that i was interested in psychology as well and uh, i started reading books about human behavior and uh, self help books and from those learnings i started kind of experimenting and implementing those to increase my productivity and become a little more organized and so on and so forth so when i wanted to uh, you know change uh, my career path and uh, do something of my own which has always been the case i am never you know settled with one thing or the other of course you gain a lot of experience but you want to keep moving forward and evolving so when that happened and i came across this course with icbi i said uh, wow this is perfect match for my aptitude and i must learn the whole science behind the art that i'm good at so that's where the emotional hook happened for me and yeah. i joined yeah. and you met me <laughs> <laughs> and i met yeah <laughs> we were actually both at the crossroads of our lives uh, which we got to know later we were batchmates um uh, and uh, when i was at this crossroad of my life and i was at the peak of my career in terms of i was growing i was gm corporate hrd and something was missed so when i took that sabbatical i realized i wanted to study further it was required when you want to grow in this profession uh i didn't want to follow the the road that everybody was following it was an mba route that i had to take or to go study outside india and when i was exploring the very very attractive ads of uh, icbr used to come in times of india yes. and it was always very very attracting and that led me to the office and when i realized that this is what i'm meant to do it gave me so much perspective i met sarika thank you sarika um and then i met you and rakesh ji and i realized that i that when i used to train in offices wherever i worked my eyes sparkled much more than when i did the other tasks at hand so the the mentor in me or the trainer in me was awakened when i came there and i said wow this is good it's time to specialize and what better than soft skills certification in india and outside and uh, the sense of fashion because people always ask me what to wear for an interview so <laughs> it all came together for me and i didn't think of leaving the country or studying anything else and took the road less traveled and joined icpi So really, you have to appreciate me because I spent one hour with Sanjay before you enrolled. Exactly, I was just about <laughs> to say that. And with the support of the, your support, Rakesh ji, my brother, and the entire family, and all my friends who really encouraged me, I even went and spoke to Mani. In fact, and he said, "India is looking big. You should be in India." <laughs> I said, of course, I'm doing this program now, and I agree. And I think I also went and met you uh, as well as uh, Mr. Rakesh, and uh, I was totally sure and sold on it. And I said, yes, this is the thing that I want to do. Yeah. Not, not any MBA or anything else that I want to uh, add to my portfolio. But yes. this was the right match. This was it. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure. I mean, so tell me. I mean, entrepreneurship is definitely not a cakewalk. I'm sure you agree with that. right yeah. we totally so after agree you completed your program what kind of challenges you had to face you know when you finished your icbi okay. 
program. So uh, I, I would like to tell everybody who's listening here that when we finished, it was 2014-15 batch that was there in India and USA with Judith. And then we had to do all our assignments. And when we started the company, the first challenge that we faced was, what do you do? Uh, so we said, this, this, this. Uh, so they said, uh, no, no, tell me more. So I said, you have half an hour, please sit down. I need to explain to you what I do. Because there was very little awareness at that stage. So I can imagine what you've gone through before us. Exactly. <laughs> and the awareness was that, uh, oh, you mean personality development. Oh, you're a stylist. Or uh, celebrity management. Huh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. I think we lost connection because of the internet issues. I think, let's see if they are joining back. Yes. Oops, what happened? We have just no dropped out. I we, we actually, we operate out of a co-working space called the boardroom in Andheri West, which is very close to our office in a, 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 at our ICBI. And we've usurped the entire bandwidth and kept the entire office on cold. So thank you guys for all your support. It's there. We are right. We've Absolutely. dropped out of the thing. So just make sure that the... Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I don't know how uh, how much did we uh, cover and, and when we dropped out. So please guide us. <laughs> 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 so if, if, if you could just tell us uh, once again like sure uh, so right. the, the question that you yeah we faced a lot of challenges question. yes the first okay. challenge that we faced was that people are not aware of this they kind of had a notion and compared it to personality development or they can compared it to um the fact that we were pr professionals yeah or celebrity management or and they didn't realize or understand this fact because of the low level of awareness of the industry itself that uh, this can be availed by any individual or professional who is looking to level up in their lives and and live a complete life or or work on their image or their behavioral aspects so that took that was the biggest challenge that we yeah. faced and and that's why all the content and everything that we had to develop started from there where we were educating most of the people that you are networking with or on social media telling uh, that story that it's for everyone who uh, wants to live a better life absolutely so we started with the whole uh, project that we had to inform or educate people of what image management was yeah. about and we join hands with uh, the entire industry to do that. So right. yes, that's what the some of the challenges, but we don't face them anymore. Yeah. Now, now it's changed completely. Yeah. People are more aware, and uh, there are so many people who now, in fact, approach, and and they know why, and they they come with these specific needs of uh, changing their appearance or. Uh, even the the communication, or it could be the etiquette, it could be uh, conversation starters, or uh, even cultural sensitivity. All these aspects. So there are a lot of people who now come with those specific needs and and then take up the program with yeah. us. So true. That's amazing. So uh, so you think that as compared to what you had to do five years back. Things have become much more easier and very, yeah, very easy. explaining very easy. less to people as compared to what you had to explain five years ago, right? Mm, yes, so, very, very easy. People Google image consultant or image management, and they do their homework and they come. Uh, it's it's it feels so good because you know now we are all it, it, it's the industry. It's become a proper in full fledged industry now. So. Uh, and thanks to you yes, uh, and ICBI because yes. the hard work that you have put in has brought the industry to this level in uh, India. So yeah. thank you so much for that. Pleasure. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Pleasure. 
All right. So tell me, what really inspired both of you to come together and collaborate? I mean, it's very rare <laughs> to see people coming together, collaborate, and work together because that very rarely happens, you know, in the image yes. consulting space. Because that, I mean, we've seen a trend that yeah. people work independently as you know yeah. independent image professionals. So right. it's a very rare scenario that you know two people coming together and you know working together. Uh, yes. Yes, and it gets yeah. even it gets even more unique because we both consult together. It's a very unique duo facilitator method. Uh, but it all started back in class. Actually, we were the yeah. naughty backbenchers. <laughs> you yeah. could ask any of the faculty; yeah, we the <laughs> they best. still say yeah. that we were always those funny ones. And we realized that we started getting along really well in class. And you had this whole gang of people who would eat together, and it was it was really good fun. and then uh, we we decided that because we live nearby let's start doing our assignments together and all those kind of things and then when we started spending more time together we realized that our synergies our visions in life the stages of life that we were in we completed each other's sentences we would be humming the same <laughs> songs in our head it, it 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 came to a very very interesting space where in that conference room in a very west Uh, September 2015, where I think there was a big bang, and we felt that yes, let's do this. It's it's going to be let's make it big. Let's not think small, project wise. Let's collaborate. Who's up now? Let's think about something big, and let's make this company big, right. and let's let's launch a full fledged organization. And that's why new was born. Yeah, <laughs> and then we realize everyone around our world knew each other except yeah. us. We were this way. Yeah. <laughs> But the most, of course, the synergy, energy match, and uh, the eighty thousand watts prior connection and all that is definitely there. Yeah. However, we we want to emphasize on this point that our visions for this particular profession and what we wanted to achieve after our certification True. was bang on, and it was matching completely. And that's why I feel we. Been together for these six seven years that we've been working, and day in and day out, we uh, you know it's proven that that this is meant to be, and this is uh, it couldn't have been any other yeah. way. Yeah. People even tell us that if you want to do business, uh, if you want to lose your friend, you do business with them first, and that was the condition that we both had first. That yes, we are you make you know made for each other, but you first, business second. But yes. It's 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 a great match for this yes. because of the fact that we can bring so much of expertise and exposure and all our learnings at ICBI and uh, with Judith and in India, all of that combined and put it together and uh, change people's lives. And we've always taken advice that you and Rakesh Ji have said that you know it's okay to collaborate, it's okay to explore together. Absolutely. And we took that on. Right. We took that on. And uh, you know, as we say this, we are not. We are. Some people can feel that oh, now where am I going to find this kind of a match? But it's not that. You know, we work with other batchmates who we have, and they are we also phenomenal. Them, yes. We we do connect with them on project based. Sangeeta is one of them. Yeah, she's... and and it's it's again brilliant out there because she's also so good with her work. So we encourage anyone who's listening and aspiring and and already in this profession that yes, please go collaborate. If it's not like us partnering, but at least go and collaborate because. So much networking happens. So many new projects happen because you put on Absolutely. the table. That each one of us brings, so and and that's how the industry grows because it's you know when you're alone you're only in the box and you know that much, but when you're together you can do and achieve much more. So and we do encourage. Yeah, even when we work together with a client, we're getting so many different perspectives on the same uh, you know issue that the uh, client yes. may be going through. Yes, uh, it's so much fun to even uh, conduct uh, huge workshops of. Hundred, two hundred people, or twenty people, residential workshops. It's it's just another experience to do it together. Absolutely, so we really love doing that, and I think uh, we're gonna do this forever. <laughs> so your brand Absolutely. is called New N Y O U, right? O U. Yes. yes, yes. And it's been uh, into existence since last five years. Ar around six years after we yes. registered it officially. Yes. Yes. So tell me, what kind of groundwork or what kind of homework you had to do before you actually started <laughs> in a full-fledged oh, yeah. manner? Yeah. 
full fledged so as we said that firstly we sat with all the experience that she and i had in life be it our education the professional backgrounds that we came from the uh, and any other you know experience that we've had in our lives personal lives all that firstly was there and we then built on it yeah. now in terms of the research of course we went into the market we researched for national and international markets we understood the pricing we understood the kind of target audience uh the mindset of people as we said is are they even aware are they ready for some product like this yeah uh, those kind of things and then i also conducted few workshops yes. worked with a few people in our year days also did some pro bono to test waters and see what's working how people are receiving this all that and then all, all the data that we collected with this research we mapped it with our capabilities and then we created all the solutions that we have to offer now to yes clients. and that's only that will only happen when you go out there when you when you do your pro bono work you speak to your friends in the yes. corporate world you you try positioning yourself as xyz kind of a professional this is you test out different kind of uh, people who would be interested in working with you so we did all of that and then finally we realized even we 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 came to the decision that this is the kind of duo that we are and this is the kind of work that we want to do and this is the value that we can add to society absolutely that's amazing so that's like a, that's quite a lot of work because a lot of people it have was it was misconception that you know i mean becoming an entrepreneur is just you know okay <laughs> becoming a boss and sitting in the chair And oh, we've still, done it all. Oh, oh, oh. still From, makes me do it. <laughs> we've done it all. So you know, in in any corporate, there are so many divisions. So now you're there are essentially six divisions as we know them by and large, six to seven. Yeah. So three and three, and that's how we've been a yeah. bootstrap startup. And and really, and in fact, after it, people yes. would tell us that oh, you're a startup. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> you're a startup. Thank you. Uh, you, but the point is that you have to go through those thousand days, and once you reach that stage, that's when it starts getting even more clearer to you, because then it starts getting narrowing narrowed down to what what part of the pyramid you want to be in, and what is it that you have to really really offer. That's one thing. and then what are you really good at yes so honestly what are the perks now let us you know look at the other side <laughs> what are the perks of being your own boss freedom okay, okay. Uh, there's freedom to do exactly what you choose to do absolutely yes that's the first one uh and and the major one because you're really not answerable but you're accountable to your own self and True. and when you're passionate about what you do when you found your purpose and when you know uh what you want to do it it just comes from within and that's why we bounce back from our beds every morning and we know yeah, now charge. let's take on the to the uh, the world and see what you know kind of a different case we're solving today yes. it's like investigation yes. and it's a lot of fun there's so one of our community mm-hmm. colleagues the other day was dragging herself to work and she's like i've got monday blues and like really <laughs> what are those <laughs> we don't have that so you don't have monday blues <laughs> but the, the best part about it is that you um you discover yourself every day i have understood that I, even in the panel interview that was a uh, discussion that was done a few years back with Inpa uh, Anu had asked me this question that you are at the peak of your career and you left so i said i, I gave a funny answer but actually it was the truth where i felt that the organizations that i worked with where i was an employee no matter how senior my brain worked a little at a at, at a slightly different pace than what the others did and uh you know very difficult to achieve all the objectives that one desires or wants to do i may align to the company as much as i want to but at the end of the day as a business person one is that i can i, I need to i can control the time i can control the services that i offer i can control the quality that i have to offer and i can spread my wings as wide as i want because it's totally under my control 
Yes, and and I think the third last one would be that we learn so much from every aspect of being a business uh, or woman yeah. or uh, an entrepreneur, and that's uh, immeasurable in any anything else that you do in your life. So. Yeah. um it's amazing because you are you will never be the same after you are an entrepreneur and you've been successful at what you do you will never be the same you never be <laughs> and like be able to do anything in under the sun i like to add one more thing that i've realized that we, it's it's a byproduct but a lot of people around us get very inspired by us and if we believe that if you at the end of the day you are when you place your head on the pillow if you haven't inspired a person or two or you haven't cried a tear of happiness or joy what's the point of living so as an entrepreneur we get we get all the possible perks that you can yes. think of and we can go on for another three live sessions for <laughs> that so i was thinking of the do it do it do it yeah, today yeah live in today because you <laughs> find out what you yeah. want to do and do it <laughs> So that is a very interesting question somebody has posted for you that what keeps you guys motivated and smiling all the time very positive oh, we <laughs> so we are certified happiness coaches now yes. and we are we keep ask this question every day we made it our mantra in life that we when we reach that crossroad in our life we started working on ourselves because of whatever our personal professional journeys have been which has not it's been a roller coaster ride for us but we realize that at the end of the day it's very very important that i need to be in a very positive happy state and we got simple ways we discovered yes, simple ways yes. to be in that state as much as possible during the day to the point that we are unknowingly happy <laughs> we use this phrase the person across the world say what is wrong why ye kya bhage aate hai what is wrong what's happening to you yeah. what <laughs> but that's what it is right when you do what you love to do when you have your loved ones around you you've chosen the right people they've chosen you you have all the great support in in the world with you in terms of friends in terms of family family i think there's no other way but to be happy so yeah there's yeah. what we, that's what yeah. makes us happy and yeah. god bless everyone yeah. with that and we plan to create a virus <laughs> which are this yeah so what kind of assignments do you undertake and who are your clients okay that's a long list. yes <laughs> so this is fun because yeah. when we started off it was very very small the list uh uh the my pro bono told me a wider paper like clothes i don't understand it was <laughs> a very difficult case for me <laughs> but the kind of client that we worked with is if we break it down in a list of uh, let's say uh, you know the corporate world and individuals who sign up with us we invite people from both walks of life so in terms of corporate we have clients who come to us for stand alone training programs we have had residential training programs that we worked on we have long term retainers where we are controlling or and ad- advising them in terms of what is a calendar that should be there for the entire year and then how to execute and we have a team and hours and and we conduct some of the sessions and we have all of that now this predominantly the range of clients that we've managed to get all these years is through our friends references connects little bit of marketing i will start listing it out uh it tech services uh, software solution e-commerce pharmaceutical real estate home care um mall management industry uh, retail consulting pr pr agencies uh government organization recruitment like, uh, hr consulting marketing professionals uh co-working spaces uh customer engagement companies which do the calculation of your points in uh, like shop stop etc uh business and hr networking groups like fiki flow entrepreneurs organization south asia chapter or uh, raipur chapter all those kind of places so these are places where we've actually done some very very interesting uh, uh work and also of course wealth management industry that's bfsi which is very very strong yeah. so there are essentially or uh, two things that we kind of uh, collected and designed so one is organization value architecture where we work uh, closely with the promoter of the company and help them define their values um, vision and mission and then help populate down that to the organization and employees to uh, build their culture and identity 
and the second one is life excellence program which is uh, we design it uh, with a very holistic approach where we act as a catalyst for overall transformations uh, transformation in people's lives uh, and and it it kind of brings about that entire change in their life so uh these are essentially again two products that we have designed personally and trained uh, so individuals uh, you'll be uh, happy to know someone that uh, we have uh, hoteliers we have second third generation businessmen and women we have dentists we have top lawyers of the country we have it business company owners uh, we have artists artists actors performing artists Uh, homemakers, so everyone. Mm-hmm. Say everyone, everyone. Is, everyone, and you know what the beauty is? We wrote it down at the beginning when we started the company, and we wrote these things out. Startup which has got funding. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and we truly believe that because we've written all of this down, it's all coming. The universe is sending it to us. So do yeah. this. Yeah, but we really <laughs> added. Don't know that we all do it. All, 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 everyone is the target audience and and we want to in, fra- in fact touch as many lives as possible because we feel this is what we want to do when we you know god has chosen us to do this for yeah. them so yeah. uh, we are so blessed yes yeah. everyone yes and how did you get your first client by the way that was one of the questions which uh, somebody had asked <laughs> yeah that is only network always network, network. Yes. and your own references yes. because yes. that's the easiest thing to do Or rather than meet a stranger, but we can do that as well. We've done that a lot. Yes. But uh, it was one of her uh, via 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 connects because of the business background that she comes from. There was a very reputed uh, stem cell banking company, and they were uh, uh, they were yeah. So I think they some students right. Some uh, students were visiting them along with their professors from the Jai Hind College. So we this company invited both of us to kind of conduct a workshop called We Can Not Not Communicate. We 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 speak to people uh, and once you start getting work and you do a certain amount of work was 5 10 assignments be it individual level or corporate trainings what we've seen is when you're good at what you do you always get a repeat business from that client and i think Absolutely. that's how we yeah, yeah that's how we progress from there so in the first year if i can say that we whatever work we've done in the first couple of years all those clients are with us always and they always spread the word of mouth and then we started getting even more busy yeah they all call us for their house yes. warming yes. <laughs> yes. yes yes we are part so of the family in, in totality how many repeat clients do you have so far oops <laughs> a long list again yeah, yeah. Uh, i can i Uh, more than more than fifty clients, yeah. yes, yeah. and their fifty percent of them has definitely yeah. stayed back. Yeah. So, with reference to, it's all about we've realized one thing, and we knew it somehow. It comes very organically and naturally to us that it's about the relationships we just naturally maintained from childhood till now. In fact, our school friends, college friends, workmates, uh, every single company that I worked in, your business, yes. Yeah. it was probably something that may they may remember about us and we probably did something right then and they remember us for probably something that we've done with them or some word we put in or some yes. interview experience also the kind of person one is right and with this the help that and i am i i am a active member of entrepreneurs organization she has been into hr and she knows so many people from that fraternity but really but it's about what you that's what we said that when we started we act, the foundation was our experiences and the kind of uh, work that we had already done in our lives and then you build up from there so i think that really helped us in getting right. first client and then retaining them right 
So I think Neha is asking since how many years have you been in this industry? So Neha, it's been six years. Yeah, we, the idea was born in September two thousand fifteen, but the company was officially registered by June twenty sixteen. So yes, uh, it's we've been doing that since then. But we realized that there are some parts of it uh, which we unknowingly were doing all our life in at work or in school or college. And uh, uh, it all just came together for us. Yes. Yeah, it's been very beautiful. So I think Neha has asked another question that in which year you completed yeah. ICBI program? Twenty fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. All right. So please share one experience which is very close to your heart. This is very very all are very close. <laughs> uh, all are very close to one. We've had clients, or uh, we won't call them clients. We call them family yes. members or new beings, as we call them. Sorry, I logged into my account by mistake. Uh, they are ranging from sixteen years to fifty-five, fifty-six plus years. The range of people that we worked in are uh, coming from different walks of life. Some of them barely finishing their twelfth standard, and some of them what in Stanford graduates. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, some of them are very close to us. Uh, one is of the sixteen-year-old whose life we saved somehow. We felt we were just working with her on productivity. Another one is uh, some of our earlier clients who came to us. She was going through a lot of issues. She had absolutely no work-life balance. Um, her health had taken a toll, and uh, she was not very happy with her work. She was in a very senior position in a company in the insurance industry. And uh, I think slowly, 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 you know, pieces just started falling in place for her and puzzle and all the kind of uh, coaching techniques that we tried and tested on ourselves first and then her. And then all of that, all the tools that ICBI has equipped us with, with reference to soft skills training or image, uh, the tools which are there, they fall so beautifully in place because when you tell a person that there is no harm in in the way you look and the way you behave and the way you think and the way you feel. And then you try and get to know yourself better with more tools, and then you start realizing so many things about yourself, and then there's a whole revelation that starts coming up, and you start being a happier person, you're more positive, you realize what you're good at, where you want to go. I think she reached a very good space now. It's been quite a few years, yes. so that's something that's very very close to her. Yeah. And, and, and the feedback either. and the and the uh, you know updates that she keeps giving us on on our WhatsApp and keeps touching base with us because of course now she's family and and we are that for her. Um, is that you know initially when when she went through the program and and the appearance had changed, people in the same local train that she would travel to work. Would stand up and say, "Madam, you are bad, Jai." And she's <laughs> like, "What happened? You didn't even notice me earlier. What happened to you?" And uh, her friends, who uh, you know, uh, would not even ask her where you want to go or which movie you want to watch, started asking for her advice for fashion, for all that they wanted to do on the weekend, and and it started from there. And now uh, she was also wanting to change her job in between and was was finding that work life balance. So she. Took the leap and did that, and now she's excelled even more in these years. She's picked her own house, and yeah. uh, we were there at yeah. her house warming uh, just recently. Yeah. So, and and that took her. These are the uh, I think these are few few rewards yeah. and uh, that we and we get, and and that feedback satisfies us so much that we sleep so peacefully and wake yeah. up again and say, now let's see who's see, like. So, we would love to come over and discuss some of the beautiful stories that each yes. one of them have. And uh, there's one gentleman who was three level below global CEO in a reputed pharmaceutical company based out of USA, ex Stanford. Calls up and says, "I'm in India for a week. What can you do?" And we were like, "Okay, okay, what we do? We schedule our appointments." And we met him, and he was such an amazing, down-to-earth person. And he's openly shared whatever uh, perceptions that they have in America about Indians for certain leadership. And we kind of talked him through a few, and we gave him some more tools, and we gave him a new haircut, and uh, we gave him an entire lookbook. And then he's he was in touch with us, and he still is, and looking better every day. By the point he's reached, he's autopilot now that he takes people for shopping yes. at Nordstrom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, he's been in touch. He's also very very dear and very close to us. But Suman, seriously, the stories we can have another session because you will love the stories yes. that you have heard, uh, and all of them are so dear and and unique. And we 
always say that in the bargain we learn a lot because the amount uh, of learning and evolution that we uh, got by working on these people yeah I'm is sure, in, sure. invaluable yeah. and what we are so thankful what we've that. learned is that you know uh, it, yes it's about image and it's about communication and manners and uh, your thought patterns and emotional intelligence and all of that but we've realized that the when somebody comes to us they might come with us with an x need but it actually is, is this the superficial surface need the core need is something else and then when they which one doesn't know either even we've experienced it so we've been we have successfully hand holding everybody to kind of identify that and people just want to be happy they want to be heard people want to be productive and successful i mean what else so yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is so yeah. amazing and so inspiring yeah. because i can see the comments that are coming i think Super. by this entire piece of information that you've shared is already inspiring so many people who are you know wow we're well, happy to do that i think that's what we've come Yay. to <laughs> work for <laughs> brilliant absolutely yeah. brilliant so tell me yeah. sonal and bhubneshwari that how do you keep yourself relevant i mean what is your mantra for keeping yourself relevant <laughs> how do you stay updated okay. you must so yes yeah. and it's the most important thing i think for any business right so we definitely believe in upskilling so for that we read we, we read everything from blogs to books to newspapers any information that we can grab not only about this profession but overall because uh, everything is connected we think yeah. so one needs to be ab- uh, abreast with every all the happenings that that is around yeah we watch videos we listen to ipods uh, we're constantly seeing what our fellow uh, people you know in the people in the same industry are doing and how well they are doing a certain thing what new have they inculcated in, in and what's the trend and what's working for them or not uh we go and speak to uh, a lot of uh, industry experts uh, from various industries we pick their brains we brainstorm with them we take their feedbacks that this is what we're planning to do or this is what we have done what do you think what more can we do uh, all those kind of discussions and then we take up a lot of courses uh, we added and we added nlp we've done mindfulness we recently as we said added happiness coaches certificate to our uh, hat and um, what else what is we learn maximum from our clients yeah, because yes. they are all stalwarts in what they do yes yes so yes. Uh, there's more learning at our end and we feel that that organically just happens to us in terms of uh, upskilling we learn a lot every day but the, it's very very important that you stay updated with the latest trends in fashion and the training world and the corporate world and the business world yes. and so sometimes when we we outside. want to take a break what do we do sonal and i venture into the malls or uh, any departmental store and then we do our work and say hmm this is nice and then we have xyz people in mind say okay uh, in you know let's design their look like this or not. so there's constant uh, research and yes yes constant yeah. uh, research and and upgrading uh, that we do and i think that there's no other way to survive that's the hard work that you have to put in i say research happens even when you wake up in the morning you will get into your elevator and you're walking on the street yes. you get to see um clothing patterns you get to see how people think of combinations or the, the kind of value they operating yeah. from or the kind of sentences and self talk they are into yeah <laughs> all of that and uh, how how people forget to uh, you know, uh use a certain kind of voice or tone when one is speaking or forget a certain kind of posture it's just normal every day you yes. know walk the talk so it's tbr community you're watching <laughs> we're watching too <laughs> Yeah. 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 yeah all right so we come to the last question mm-hmm. what is that one message that you would like to share with all our people who are aspiring to become image consultants and soft skill trainers first mm-hmm. if you are doubtful do it okay uh join right now second um in, in the, the world can be your platform what we've realized is that you need to know yourself really well so you, when you dive into the program 
and you are studying um, and, and yourself and uh, subjects every day you need to study yourself so well you need to apply the ikigai concept of what are you good at and what is it that you can offer you need to bring all your life experiences together and all your skill sets and all your uh, understanding of life and uh, people around you in various professions and uh, you know uh, 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 all the journey that anyone has taken and yourself and you bring that together once you do that then only will you be able to carve a niche for yourself and that's where you will be able to thrive uh, we feel that it's very very important to carve your niche we've been successful yes. at that we our niche is holistic our niche is um it's something that applies to anybody it's universal it comes from this whole sense of uh development of self awareness to self development yes. awareness to development and a unique duo facilitator kind of a, a way yeah. of doing yes. it right? right so niche is very very important when we started off we were also told this or uh, somebody was doing only dining etiquette for children yes. i remember that yes. yeah so uh, we we be able to do that so uh, my advice would be carve your niche you need to find your specialty within this big right. world of image management yes and uh, to add to that yes this is a profession like any other so the more you put in the more you benefit yourself and for the business itself uh it is a full time 24/7 job <laughs> yeah so how and if you want to reach a certain uh, level so if you're just looking at it as a part time and you are okay doing only one topic where you're called by a corporate or some affiliate and then, like we have a lot of affiliation more than 100 yeah. on our panel and uh, for various needs that the client would have but it takes time to build on this and so you need time effort equity sweat blood uh, blood and you need to eat breathe sleep all this yeah. you know i think i had heard prabhu deva say this once and he said that i dream of these steps and then i wake up in the night and practice that and go back to sleep this is precisely we relate to him because this is precisely what happens to sonal yeah. and me yeah. that when we are uh, you know in in, in the uh, sessions with any of the clients or and and we know that okay there is something that extra that we need to do we need to think more innovatively we're sleeping and we get these ideas and we pen them down or we say it uh, on 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 our phones and record it uh, and in the morning we're like yeah let's go and try this so that's the kind of uh, passion that we have yes. but that's the kind of effort that one needs to put in something like this yes. and there's no other way than that so uh, we, let's not shy away from that if yeah, we put time. in our 100% that's when you reach anywhere you want to so that is definitely one of the important factors to uh, take in out of out of both of you who is the task master <laughs> you'll be surprised is both of us so we play the good cop, <laughs> good cop and bad cop <laughs> so we have days we have days yeah. but it's also we you have to we do this when our team building activities also that you have to maximize on your strengths yes. so where there's no task master it's just again uh, you know i will not use this word again uh, <laughs> it's about the fact that there's somebody who's handling a certain kind of responsibility in the company where there uh, one person is making that the oh. scheduling one person is managing the payments one person is doing that so we are both we realize that we have both been overtly organized and planned in our lives now that was also a pattern that we had to work on yes. when you need to also kind of you know settle down yeah. it, you know make it neutralize it to a certain point and not over yeah upset. where you're not <laughs> anal or you're not making it difficult for the other right that's yeah. how partnerships work but in terms of uh, client facing i think the whole value system matches so well that uh, we balance it out you know in 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 when we are dealing with uh, any project or any individual so yeah that's one of the we just both get it done <laughs> <laughs> we get it done it's one or zero so <laughs> we have to do and, it and and who gets monday blues out of both of you none never never <laughs> we're bouncing so much we've had we under in two temperature we've had we have voice loss and we still yes. conducted 3 days residential trainings we just don't want to stop, do, stop. we just go on and yeah. on we actually have to do this in fact forget mondays mondays are the easiest ones 
Saturdays, Fridays and Saturdays are like Mondays. Are, are like Mondays. We work right from eight eight thirty in the morning to ten ten thirty in the night because we have international and Indian clients that we work with, and we are relentlessly working on uh, you know session after session. And uh, by the end of it, we're like we're still fresh to go out for some more fun. <laughs> I need to go and have a drink. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But what happens is that uh, the the kind of energy that is consumed in this is intense because what happens is that individual clients, uh, when we are on the floor with a large group, it comes very naturally. Yeah. The uh, when it's an individual client, there is a lot of sharing that happens with reference to some kind of childhood incident or uh, some kind of pattern in terms of thing, uh, negative thinking that one has developed or doesn't. It suppose from very poor body image. So. the mm-hmm. core which you taught us to that core confidence the root of it is body image yes. once when you have a certain you know uh, positive image about yourself in terms of your body and personality that's when a high self esteem is developed mm-hmm. it was the first session that i see the and it yes. was so well explained and, and i as we see this every day that it comes down to this that the, and the other thing we've observed so one is that people don't know themselves when we study th- start talking about one small assessment tool that we give you and then one gets so overwhelmed and the more senior they are the more yeah. they don't want to explore it yeah. and they don't want to uh, touch that side of uh, so we always yeah. tell them and anyone that we've st- studied so many different subjects in the world right math psychology geography, geography all the sciences mm. so all the worldly subjects we've studied but what about this subject we need to start from here and and that's also going to take time like we did like we dedicated those 13 14 15 years for those particular subjects that we wanted to expertise in this subject when we start we need to have patience <laughs> and that will also take time <laughs> yeah so it gets very intense but uh, to answer your question we don't suffer from no names <laughs> every case is different every yeah. every situation is uh, exciting and different so uh, no, there's never a dull moment yeah but we have taken those breaks like yeah. she went to dubai and i went to rishikesh masuri and yeah that that's for our personal uh, you know growth, growth and and uh, yeah happiness also more add more to the happiness yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. Uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to go on the top of the tallest, highest mountain of the world and say thank you to you and Rakitri from the bottom of our hearts so, to every single faculty member who showed us ways in and made us think in ways that we have never thought. Yes. Most importantly, starting from Sarika, because if I hadn't met you, I probably may not have joined. <laughs> so. Uh, yes, and likewise, yes. Uh, same experiences, and uh, it it was the best thing I think happened to both of us, yes. right? Yes. Uh, and and then journey from there on has been super. So uh, thank you yes. from really the bottom of our heart, and we can never be thankful enough. Pleasure is ours. Thank you for making yes. us proud. Thank you for being thank a part you. of ICBI always, and yes. making us proud the way you have been. So pleasure yes. having you on this platform, Spotlight with Suman. Wish you Thank all you. the very best, and any support Thank needed you. at any point of time, you need not say anything. Just give us a call, and we know. We we, we will. <laughs> we know. We will. And uh, likewise, please, anything that we can do uh, to contribute or give back to ICBI, we're yes. always a call away. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, everyone, you. for thank listening so to us. And thank and you all the viewers who were a part of uh, Spotlight with Suman. We will see you once again next week. Until then, this is Sonal and Bhuvneshwari signing off with me, Suman Agarwal. Thank you so much. Stay happy. Stay blessed. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.